a dose now of science news. Concrete. It is terrible for the oceans. It's great for building highways and houses. It is a building block, literally, of modern society. But it is terrible for marine life. And concrete, though, is still one of the most consumed materials in the world. But when it's used to build piers and bridges and water barriers, it destroys the marine life around it and impacts the ocean's ecosystems for thousands of years. Two Israeli marine biologists, though, believe they have a solution that not only supports marine life, it's also super strong and effective. With me now in studio is the co-founder and CEO of Econcrete, Shimrit Perkol Finkel, joining us now to tell us more. All right, so let's talk about, uh, we each have an example here. This is it. It's Econcrete. It's heavy. It's strong like concrete. Why is this better for the oceans, for the, the marine life than regular concrete? Well, basically, regular concrete doesn't accommodate the growth of uh, oysters and corals and doesn't accommodate the hiding places for fish, for example. What we're doing with e-concrete is basically changing the composition, the surface texture, and the design of the concrete elements so it really thrives with marine life. Uh, Shimri, like, obviously, we're here in Tel Aviv, Jaffa. We have a beautiful port behind us. There's concrete everywhere around yeah. us. How bad is it? I mean, you have the dock, you have piers, you have bridges. What is that concrete doing to the ocean? Well, it just doesn't do much. It takes the place of the natural ecosystems that are supposed to be covering our coastlines, and it places barren units that don't have a lot of life. They have a little bit of algae and maybe some barnacles, but really the diversity is gone and there's no productivity. The fish don't have a place to hide, the corals don't have a place to grow on, because they just don't like concrete. And we tweak the concrete to so, make so them like the substrate. What is this? I mean, it's, it, is it... Technically concrete, is it something it's different? Technical. How does it actually support, you know, fish and, and algae that want to be attached to this thing? So we change about 10% of the cement in the concrete. It's a very fine tune. It's like the salt and pepper for the concrete. Okay. And that's enough to activate the biology. We've tested it across the globe, and we know that it's better for marine life to grow on. I, I mean, grow, as an Israeli, I mean, I know you have... Uh, you know, a, another co-founder. How did you guys come out, come up with this idea? What made you realize that this is a problem that needs to have a solution? Lots of diving, very difficult work. Somebody has to do it. So we've seen a lot of these ports. We've been diving under the water and seeing barren structures, so seawalls with very little life on them, as opposed to the living, thriving ecosystems that we love to see at the coastline. And we really wanted to change that. Yeah, Israelis so are the startup nation. You're underwater. We have the video here on the screen. I mean, you're, you're doing the work underwater uh, to yeah. kind of show that this works, this is effective, that algae yes. and fish and marine life are comfortable with this, being around yes. them. And the engineers are comfortable with this. So the, the innovation here is not only that it's great for marine life, it's great for the port. Actually, the life that grows on the concrete makes it stronger over time. So it's a win-win solution. All right. Is that a regular pencil? What do you write with underwater? Is that a, ah, a so special pencil? So many people ask. It's a very simple pencil, but it's a special paper. Okay. <laughs> special pencil. Uh, I want to ask uh, quickly about the next step. And now that you've demonstrated this product, it's a, it's a really great thing. The e-concrete, do you... Does the Israeli government, are they interested in using it? Are other governments around the world interested in buying it? Yeah, well, first of all, we've just installed in the port of Jaffa, just behind you, like just three of us. these yeah. type poles. Uh, in addition, we're working with the government of Monaco, we're working with the government of Hong Kong, and we're working with the government of New York State. So we're really getting out there uh, with our products. Uh, it's still a process for a small company to scale up and move from... It's not bad that you already have tell Israeli cities and New York, I mean, which obviously is a lot yeah. of waterways, yeah, water yeah, roads. Yeah. And Rotterdam, Port of Rotterdam. So we're not only talking to governments, but also to the stakeholders that use these kind of waters. Yeah, uh, we see the before and after here on the screen as well on, on the plasmas here. Just, I mean, incredible image that shows really what this can do for marine life. All right, Shimrit uh, Finkel with E-Concrete. Uh, thank you so much for being with us in studio, explaining this product. Great stuff. Congratulations on your success so far. Wishing you a lot more success. Thank you very much. Thank